Hi guys. I am going to be putting on Moon River. Sparkly and like a dark blue background. It's really pretty. So I'm going to be putting that on. And um, first of all, I took off my polish from last week's Manny. And I always use Mineral Fusion. It is um, non-drying. It it helps moisturize my fingernails and so that's why I use it because the other polish remover I was using really dried out my nails and so um, so I'm using mineral fusion now and I just um, put that on some round cotton balls and then I have clamps that go over my fingernails and hold so that holds the cotton there for a while um, usually about two minutes with it sitting on there. You could even do it without the clamps, but, but you just got to um, hold it on your fingernail for a um, couple minutes. And so you could um, saturate these and just have your hands uh, with them sitting on top. You don't need the clamps on it, but the clamps do help if you end up needing to do something while you're um, taking your polish off. So, um, so after I take off my polish, then I moisturize more with coconut oil, just the regular cooking coconut oil. And then um, I do that for a couple times before I put on my new Manny. So I took off my old Manny last night. And so I've been moisturizing throughout last night and, um, and the day today. So I've been putting coconut oil on my fingernails. And then uh, I quit putting coconut oil on a few hours before I'm going to reapply my new strips just to make sure I don't have any oils on there. And then I wash my hands with um, dish soap. And so like Dawn dish soap. And then I'm going to aim this down so you can see what I'm doing. And then I just push my cuticles back and scrape off anything like I have a little bit of residual um, Color Street polish from the time before, I just make sure that I scrape all that off because if it stays on there, then um, when I apply my new ones, they're not gonna stick in that spot because they're not sticking to the nail, they're sticking to something that was on the nail. So I wanna make sure that my nails are nice and cleaned off and also push pushing back my cuticle as much as I can um, to make sure that I get I can put the, the strips as far down as I can because then when they grow you won't notice the growth for a little while. So just scraping that with my thumbnail. So the reason I'm doing a video instead of going live today is because we are going to be leaving for Florida in the morning and so um, we are busy packing and um, I'm thinking I'm not gonna have time tonight to go live and so that's why I'm doing the video so just making sure it's all scraped off nice And I'm just going to do the video for one hand so you guys don't get too bored because obviously once you do one, then it's just um, repetitive. We keep, keep doing the same thing on the other hand. And this one, I don't know if you can see that, my thumbnail is cracked like way down here. And so I want to make sure that I get some color street strips on there so that that doesn't snag on something and get yanked off. And hopefully, if I keep um, being careful and keeping Color Street on there, then um, it'll eventually grow out until I can clip it. But it's really far down there, so I don't want to clip it now. Okay, so when you open your package, it will, it will give you instructions and it'll tell you what's inside so I'll flip it around um, so it tells you top coat color base coat is what is in each strip 
And then it has little instructions here for you to follow. And then each um, set comes with a prep pad. And this is very important to use before you put your strips on every time. Um, so they give you a new one in each set. So make sure you use that. And then they also give you a nail file. And then the strips themselves are in this package. And um, I recommend keeping this package until you're done um, with your mani because if you have leftovers, I'll put them back in this package and heat seal the end. So you use a lighter or um, something that's hot. And so you melt the end um, so it's so it gets a nice seal. And then when you're done um, sealing it, then put it in the freezer so it helps it stay good longer. So in each package, there are two sets like that. And so you're going to have extras if you're just doing the 10 fingernails. Um, sometimes I do double layers and sometimes I do single layers. Um, today I think I'm going to do double layers just to make it just helps um, it last a little bit longer and it helps it um, be a little bit stronger. So first of all, I'm going to use my prep pad. So open that up. And it's just like a little wipey. So make sure you wipe all of your fingernails and get in the edges and down by the cuticle really good. I'm going to do both nails right now, or both hands, so don't forget to redo it. And I just read somewhere the other day that you should use this prep pad on top after you're done, too. I've never heard that before, so I think I'm going to try that um, after I'm done. Just wipe those good. So I'm going to keep that prep pad. All right, so when you, um, to measure out your fingernails to see which hand they should, or which finger these fit good on, um, I'll show you a minute. This one is always too small for me, but I always keep them because I can cut this in like skinny strips and then make a design on a different mani that I'm gonna do. But I just set those aside and then grab the next one and I hold it up to my fingernail that, that I think it's going to fit on. And I put it up to it and I kind of bend it around to see if it's going to fit. And this one is a little bit too narrow, but the other side of it is wider. So I'm going to use this side. So you just peel off the um, top little piece of plastic there and then peel it at that silver spot there and then I'm going to put it back on the backing so that um, so that helps me apply it when you do double layers also you could use um, the same color as your second layer or we sell lots of really cute overlays or there's clear as day which is just a clear layer that would go over the top and um, the lay the clear ones are very thick and durable and so those are nice to use I love this color. It's like blue and shimmery with glitter in it. It's really pretty. And then I'm just pushing down on the sides by my cuticles to make sure I get a good, um, good fit down there. 
so it makes sure it's sticking to my nail on all the parts. And so I'm gonna just push down a little bit harder and then that will break that away. Make sure you don't do it too quickly because it might you might peel off parts that you didn't want to peel off. With doing double layer, and I'm going to be using the same colors, um, I can put it over top of a part that maybe I messed up on. Maybe I didn't cover one really good, or um, I pushed away a little bit more than I was going to. So I'm just folding over the top because I don't want to pull it or anything because that'll make it thin. All right. So I've kind of perforated and broke that off there a little bit. So now I'm going to just peel it off my skin. That side a little bit more. All right. And then I'm going to use the other side of that same strip that I just used for a double layer. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a little bit of nail showing right there. So I'm going to make sure when I put on this second layer that it covers that spot. And nobody, I'm sure, would ever notice it, but I would. There. There we go. Now that's covered right up there. And I'm just going to push this under. Don't pull it. Don't try to break it off yet. Just want to fold it under there. And so then when it cures, it um, can shrink just a teeny teeny bit and um, your tip of your nail won't be naked when it when it cures so that's why we do that just fold that under there and I'm just pushing it um, on the sides of my nails again just to make sure it's nice and snug and sticking really good now I got some right here on the edge of my skin but I'm gonna wait to do anything with that because um, I'm going to wait for it to cure a little bit first before I mess with it. And see, you can see how that's like under, I just tucked that under there and I'm just going to leave that for a little bit till it can just maybe 10 minutes or so. And then I will, um, and then I'll use my nail file and I'll file downwards, never up because that'll peel, peel it up before it's cured. Um, so always down and across while you're going down a little bit. Never go up. Okay, so my next fingernail. Is this one. Let's see. That is not quite wide enough. And so I'm going to set that one to the side. I probably shouldn't have taken off that part. Oh, I'll put it back in the in the bag and put it in the freezer like that. It should be okay. Okay, I'm gonna try this one because it's a little bit wider. Yep, that one will wrap around good. So I can hold on to it without getting it stuck to my fingers a ton. I'll push my cuticle back a little bit more. There. 
And just push it down when you got it in the spot you want. Take off this end part so I can use the other side for my double layer. And see where the end of my fingernail is and just kind of push it. And just the main thing is to go slow. So if you go too quick and try to get it done, then usually stuff gets messed up. Okay, so now I'm flipping it around so I can have that rounded edge that I can work with. And I put it right on there. Take that off and just push it down again. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this color. What's it called again? Moon River. Moon River. It's really pretty. So if you guys have any questions while I'm doing this, go ahead and type them in. Even if you're not watching it um, right away, I can still see the questions later and come back and answer them. So, Okay, again, I'm trying to just fold it under. I got some that's stuck to my finger. There we go. There we go, just fold it under as best you can. And then when we file it, that'll come right off because we're going to file the end. But we're going to wait 15 or 20 minutes before we file it to make sure it's cured. Super pretty. Goes good with my sweater I got on. All right, now let's do the middle finger. Okay, so this one, I'm trying to see if it's going to be enough that I can do a double with it. I think so. My thumbs, I usually have to do two different strips, but there's enough here that I can do. Um, I usually do the big one first, I think, or this, I forget. I think the big one first and then the next one. Um, they both cover my thumb completely, so, um, but yeah, I use both of them because my thumb is too, my thumbnail is too long for me to be able to use um, just one strip. But I always do my thumbs last and so I have them to use as tools because as you can see, I use my thumb a lot for pushing, pushing down and um, pushing it in this, the corners and stuff. And if I cover my nails and then um, I'm trying to work with them, it's going to smudge or push it in a little bit. And so I don't want that to happen. So I always do them last. If any of them are too long to double it, it's going to be this one. This is my longest fingernail on this hand. But if it's not long enough and it's just a little bit short, I can just file my nail back a little bit. Not a big deal. There we go. 
just push that around the sides. Make sure that's good and tight and sticking. Yeah, this, I don't know if this is long enough. Um, I don't think so. So I'm going to use this one that I put to the side. Because it's probably, maybe if I do it halfway down, then it'll be wide enough. Well, maybe not. Well, this one, it might be wide enough for this one. Yeah, that one's wide enough for that one. So I'm going to use this one for my um, second layer for this middle finger. Okay, I don't know if you can see or not, but it didn't get all the way to the edge on this side. So my second layer, I'm going to make sure I get over there on that side first. Once again, nobody would probably notice it, but I'm going to just do a little tap, make sure it's on there good. There. Nice. Actually, this end one will probably work for this one because it's a very short nail. I broke it last week. So, do you guys have any plans? Did you have a good Thanksgiving? Were you able to get together with family or friends? I went to my dad's and stepmom's for Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving Day. And then, oh yeah, that one fits that one. And then Saturday, I went to my husband's side of the family. That was a lot of fun. Okay, this nail is super short. And I'm sure some of you have shorter nails. And so it's, it's, you can't really fold it under the nail because it's just skin there. Um, but just do the best you can. Just don't pull it tight because that'll thin out the tip of the nail strip. And um, you don't want that to happen. So just kind of pushing it down a little bit in there. I could probably use this other one that I had left over because this is a super short nail. Actually, I want to take off this or push this down better. So when I put on my second layer, then it's harder to get off because it's so thick. There. All right. Put that one on. I love this set. Super pretty, glittery. Just trying to push it under as best I can, even though there this is a super short nail. Yeah, 
that gets stuck to my skin. Just kind of pulling the skin away a little bit. Okay, there we go. Super pretty, glittery. Like a dark blue color. Cool. So like I said, when you go to file your nails after 15 or 20 minutes, so I'm not gonna do it right now because I wanna wait for it to set a little bit longer, but make sure you go down with your fingernail file, down or across and down. Don't go up. So down like that. And then with your leftovers, like I said, put them back in your package that came in. Don't put it in a Ziploc baggie because Ziploc baggies um, let air in and we don't want that. So make sure that you seal the end with heat, use a lighter or um, some other, some people use a hair straightener and you just clamp it there and you seal it with the heat and then put it in your freezer and then um, it'll last longer. There's no guarantees that it will last. Um, Color Street's only guarantee is that it will that they will work good when you first open them. They don't guarantee ones that you've saved. So just so you know that. Um, and then I was talking about doing my, this over top again. I don't know what that's supposed to help. Maybe it helps it um, seal or something. But there. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.